This story is sponsored by Thrive Market. Oh, it is. Shoot, you have to run back up and go. I didn't want to leave from inside of here. Why? Because it was so nice. It's so cozy. I can't even believe how cozy it is. This feels like home. The back and forth winter weather was making it possible to drive into the cabin well into January. And so we had true hope of finishing the inside renovations and moving things in. It's snowing today. My mom said that it could get up to four inches. And I was gonna go get the chairs and bring them to the cabin last night so that we have a place to sit all winter that's actually comfortable. But uh, it wasn't feeling too great, so it didn't. And she said, we're about to get four inches, so if you want to get those chairs, you better come get them now, because it could be the last time you get in there. So I'm curious to see what it looks like on top of the mountain. Hi, Brad. Hey, can I place an order for pickup? Yes, you can. What would you like? Could I have a sausage Windsor? All right. I will get it going. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Man, you turn the corner to head up the mountain, and it's instantly covering the ground here. This is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could just run around and film all day, but I gotta get to work editing. I, I will get some shots though, but I got a bunch of other stuff to take care of. Man, oh, just when this place is clean and there's no tarps covering everything like this, and there's chairs on the porch and there's no brush piles and the, the screened in porch is cleared off and I can just sit in a rocking chair during a storm like this. That's gonna be almost too good to be true. And that's a very simple thing to ask for. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I will have earned that. So much work to get to this point but still a ways to go. This thing is great. I love this. Growing up, we always had a copper one in our kitchen. I can't remember what it was full with. I think it was full of kindling, but I just remember having the tin. Now I can get rid of these boxes. And so the chairs that I had commissioned over two years ago from a family friend the last set he ever made in his little red wood shop by the river bend were brought in and set how I always imagined with the table my good friend Mason had made around the same time. This is really starting to feel like a legitimate place. Holy smokes, I can't even imagine sitting in here while the snow falls. And the snow continued falling pretty good that day.
I've talked about this before, but part of being your own boss and having freedom and flexibility is being diligent and cutting yourself off from play or whatever. It's very easy to get distracted. And while this, working on this cabin technically is, is work for me because it's part of how I, it's part of my job. I've got work waiting for me back in my office that I know that I need to do in order to be able to pay my bills this month. But it's, I mean, I don't know when it's gonna snow again or snow like this and it's so hard to make the decision of living in the moment, embracing what's happening right now versus doing what you know you have to do. There's no way around it. That's one of the hardest parts of having your own business, I would say. Sometimes you can just shut that off. You can go full tunnel vision, but then you're gonna wear yourself out really fast. You need to have balance. Blah, blah, blah. All this said, I have to at least, this, this side of the sink is a little high, so I just need to lower the, the brace down below a little bit. So I'm gonna at least do that. I also just had to start a fire. I mean, there's nothing like a fire on a snowy day. And I think I'm gonna go up the road a ways and get some shots. Well, after a lot of thinking and not wanting to miss out on this beauty, uh, I'm gonna go pick Allie up and we're gonna work all day, spend the night and work all day tomorrow. I'm not gonna get a video out this Sunday, which kind of stresses me out because I haven't posted one in a while, but this only, you know, this doesn't happen all the time. Gotta take advantage of it and uh, like you can't pass this up it, the cabin's gonna be so warm by the time we get back this is just so beautiful so there we go well this end of the road uh, looks like it's a dead end
That's a nice pool right there. Wow. Don't want to hop on that. Nice pool over there too. Wow. That is a beautiful pool. <laughs> no kidding? I never even knew this was here. And so after some exploration, I headed back to town to pick up Allie and take care of a few things in the apartment. Every new year, I like to take a few days to take care of things that got out of hand the year prior. This year, one of the major things has been our kitchen. The Tupperware is just so unorganized in the drawers. A lot of our food has expired because we were so busy, we didn't have as much time to cook. A lot of our jars full of oats and rice and things like that have been depleted. It's just, it got cluttered and, and just general maintenance. And we're gonna do a couple little things to the apartment. Reorganizing the little pantry, gonna actually make it usable. Might flip the bed around. A couple small things that only take a couple hours of your time, but that make a huge difference. I've already reorganized my closet a bit. When you get really busy, just you don't pay as much attention to organization and things can get out of hand. So it always feels good to refresh, revamp, especially with a new year. A new year is just a good excuse to do some things you haven't gotten around to in a long time. And before we reorganize the kitchen, I placed a fresh order with Thrive Market. It's a company I told you about last year. They're an online grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. As a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it. And I personally love Thrive Market because they have all the brands and products that we buy anyways. For example, they have our favorite olive oil. They have the exact flour I use. They have a bunch of products that they make them themselves, like this, these teas that we're trying for the first time. Bone broth from Thrive Market. They have everything. You can go through so many different categories, break it down by keto, vegan, gluten-free, whatever you need to do. And it's all in one place. Rather than having a subscription to a bunch of different things, you can just have a Thrive Market membership. And not only do you get everything you need, every annual membership sponsors a free membership for a family in need. So if you live far from a health food store, or if you're just trying to save time, or if inflation has made buying some of your favorite products hard, Thrive Market could be the solution. If you're not used to it, it feels weird. But after you do it once, you realize how much easier it is and how much time you save. Orders over $49 are shipped free and delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste facility. So click the link below or go to thrivemarket.com slash trout and coffee to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. So thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Remember to hit the link below and now back to the story. So while Allie made cashew and almond milk, I reorganized the Tupperware, which would encourage us to cook and eat leftovers more, and I reorganized that messy closet. And then it was back to the hills to give that cabin everything we had.
All right, we're back at the cabin. Gonna get right to work on trim. Gotta start ripping boards and taking care of these windows. Look at the weather stick. <laughs> it's so drooped. <laughs> Line if we did it together to be safe, and I could pull and you could push and just rip a bunch of boards. All right. <laughs> So for the, these two sills, I've got some really nice pieces of, I think it's just pine, with a nice little live edge. We found them underneath that tractor trailer a couple, couple weeks back. Um, so I'm gonna do some nice like shelf sills and I want them to meet in the middle and look like one giant piece. It shouldn't be too hard, but <laughs> It's always hard to get that perfect. We'll see how it goes. These are the two pieces right here. Basically five and a half inches deep, just before seven sixteenths. Five and seven sixteenths. Let's write this down. So I went to go fix the garden fence. Yep. Before nightfall, because I can't do it in the morning because we're leaving early. I got most. I pretty much got the fence back up. A shovel's holding one part in. And then there's this part that's like not really knocking down the fence, but it's a, it's the biggest one. It's like a, it's a, like part of a whole tree collapse. I couldn't even lift it. Like I had to try. I did eventually move it a little. And I'm like, wait a second, where the f is the peach tree? It fell. The biggest one fell on the peach tree. What? And like snapped it. Are you kidding me? That's so sad. I think it's alive still. It was so healthy. I know. That was the it's best like, tree on the property. It has like three branches off of it still, but it was like so round before. <laughs> we had to buy more peach trees. That was so sad. Ugh. It's like, it's know. hard enough to just I keep know. it alive as it is, and then you have to deal with things like falling it, from it, the sky. It took off the majority of the branches. I want to come see in a second. Yeah, Can you just grab the just like, yeah. And it fits. And it fits. <laughs> the end. That's so cool, the rough.
push it light, it goes slow. If you push it hard, it goes fast. And since we had rushed to get to the cabin, we didn't bring any food. And so we fueled up at one of our favorite local haunts before getting back to work. And on that night, the moon was so full and bright, the entire forest was illuminated enough that you could walk around and see every detail. day I rushed to get more materials in while I could and keep the momentum strong and I stopped by a local farm to see the pole barn foundation John was working on. Though in the back of my mind my conscience was yelling at me to take care of that computer work that I had been putting off. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. We got his cell phone light out. <laughs> What, do they just come to shoot the shit? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> so John was finished for the day and he had to go run some errands and I'm gonna continue working on the trim. It's pretty much all similar stuff. It's kind of boring, so I'm not probably not gonna film much, but I'll show you the finished product. And then Allie and I are going to one of her childhood friend's house for dinner tonight which should be fun. I've never really met some of these people, so it'll be fun. But <laughs> it's good to see John. I haven't seen him since few before Christmas. And uh, yeah, I wanna hang out more. We're really just waiting for some real snow here so we can ice skate on Jack's Pond and go snowmobiling and stuff like that. But it's just so hard to coordinate when everyone's busy working and getting things done, but that's part of growing up. All right, so this part's gonna be kind of cool. I've got this LED tape light. And I got this outlet up here in the corner that is connected to that switch. I'm gonna run the tape light. I think I'm gonna go underneath because we're looking for a more dim glow down here that we can leave on in the night so we can come down the stairs and have a little bit of light source. If I, if I were to run it above and have it shine onto the ceiling, I think it would be too bright. And I can always add more later on and have it shine both ways. But it's just gonna be a little night light type of thing, a little mood light. And uh, I think it'll look pretty sweet. This long, or, or they're expandable, whatever size. Mm -hmm. And there's a spring inside, and there's two rubber tips on the end. Yeah. And so you push them together, and if you wanted them in this window, instead of mounting something on top, you would just put it, you push it together, and then let it go, and it would hold itself. All right, so I laid the strip around the whole thing. And it's plugged in. Let's see what we got. All right. And I believe you can make it turn any color. I think there's an app. I just want it to be simple, warm light. So now I got to lay the soffit, like the fascia, over it to mask it. And hopefully it will just provide a nice night light. So here's an idea of what it's going to look like. I think it looks pretty clean. For, I got two new butts. Pretty what'd, happy. What'd you get? <clears throat> I got David Balduki. 
the innocent and Nelson DeMille, the Cuban affair. Where'd you get them? Barnes and Noble. Wow. New books. Ten bucks a piece. How'd you pick them though? Um, honestly, I picked them because. Well, looking pretty good. Just got to do this corner over here. You can really see it on the white wall. But it's just meant to be subtle. That's the whole point, is that it's very, very subtle. And probably just used before we go to bed. And on one beautiful Sunday, Allie, my mom, and I went to look at some cheap houses for sale, just for fun. Though we ultimately want a farm, we would also consider a cheaper stepping stone place that we could live at for a few years and then turn into an Airbnb and use it for leverage when buying the bigger property. Anything other than that claustrophobic apartment would change our lives. And while it seems like that's exactly what the cabin could be, it doesn't fit the bill in a lot of ways. We need a place with reliable electricity and good internet a washer and dryer, a place with a real address where we can take deliveries, where we no longer have to lug our life up and down flights of stairs, with enough space for Allie's workshop for her Etsy store, a place where I can have an office and an actual recording studio, a place with storage, and ultimately, a reliable stronghold that makes everyday life enjoyable. I don't want to pay someone else to live in a tiny box anymore. So we're looking for a place we can move right into and set up our offices, and then continue working on the cabin property and spend most of our time there. All I know is we need change. And so after a few computer days in the tiny box, we headed back to the cabin. It's been very wet the past couple weeks. And recently, Temps dropped to right around freezing again, and all the snow has turned to ice. The trail down to the cabin is treacherous, to say the least. So, I'm gonna try and fix that best we can. Gorgeous day today. We brought the couch, which was a pretty big try triumph, and this could be. A monumental day. I don't. Hasn't been cold enough to see your breath in a while. But it sure is today. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna build another one of these that goes right here and then over to there. And then once those are both built. I don't need to deal with these and cutting them and making them all butt seamlessly and cutting out the sink. Should be able to do it today. That's the only thing I'm doing. deviled eggs and samosas, and a homemade loaf of sourdough for fuel.
so glad we did white in here. does taste like an apple with cinnamon. What's up with that? Right. So I made the cut on the sink. Had it nearly perfect. It was extremely hard to measure. There's no template or anything. And in order to get the flush over mount or whatever you call it, had to just kind of guess, especially on the corners and stuff. And I messed up one corner right here. But luckily I bought more countertop than I needed because I wasn't sure if we were gonna bring this all the way across or what we were gonna do. So we can use the old piece as a template to cut the other big piece out. And then we still need, we're gonna extend this out a little bit and we need to fill in that gap and the gap back there. So, and then we'll have some leftover for possibly like another little table or something so that it'll match and it'll look really good. <laughs> Easy there we got the kitchen roughed in good enough that I mean we obviously have to do a bunch of little touch-ups and things like that but it's looking pretty darn good still got to do finish the shelves underneath and, and all that stuff but we can chip away at that this winter we just wanted to get the bare basics down and got the bones. yeah we got the bones and it is looking pretty sweet and the couch is in well, partially. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to trim these two windows, this one and this one, and then we're going to set the couch up and then we're going to trim the rest of them. finally saw the floor for the first time since summer. You see it like this and you almost can't picture it being a rough job site. But that's what it was the entire time. Mm -hmm. 
that night, the inside was transformed. Hmm. Ooh, makes it slick, all right. Another wonderful night at the cabin, that one extra special to wake up and see the downstairs. And that bed is just completely heavenly. It's the best bed I've ever had in my life. I was not expecting snow today. This is a nice little surprise. Got an office day today, gotta hunker down and keep everything in balance, so. Heading back to town to take care of that. But look how beautiful this is with the falling snow. post office. Oh, okay. <sighs> well, I don't know if you can see us or if it's just staring at wood, but uh, tonight we are having a pizza night with Noah and Kaylee before they head back down to Georgia in the cabin. And this will be the first time they've seen the cabin or been there, I think, since... Last winter. Last winter, yeah, when it was really a job site with a... I don't even... Yeah, barely had insulation in. There's tools everywhere. So this will be a lot of fun. These are the scariest conditions you could ever have. Underneath, there's a little layer of fresh powder here, and underneath it's glare ice. It's wild. Oh, this path down is gonna be fun. <laughs> Ready to go belly up? All right, so we don't have a whole lot of time before Noah and Kaylee arrive, but one of the things we're gonna do is clean this porch off and organize it. Organize all our lumber and we need a spot where we can set up the pizza oven and cook and we want to put a bench here and a mat so that we can sit down and take our shoes off so we're not constantly dragging stuff in there. So that's the main goal for right now. If we have more time I'm going to build maybe a little table for the water vestibule and uh, maybe some trim but it's unlikely. I don't want to get all the tools set up. We don't have that much time here today, but it's more about a get together. This is the first get together breaking this place in. So very excited. So in the spring, I will be setting up 
some solar arrays. We don't have great solar, actually pretty poor overall, but hopefully enough to you know, be about equal keeping the fridge running and stuff like that. And then we'll also have a backup generator, gasoline. They make a propane, a propane version with this company too, but I have a gas one as of right now that will kick on when the battery banks are below a certain level. So we should be able to keep power here. Um, but for right now, I have to run one of my other generators. So that's what the noise you're gonna hear is. And that charges all the banks at once. Very curious to get the power situation nailed down so I don't have to turn it on every time we come here. It's just always on, everything's running, everything's kosher, so. Oh, wow. I just took a deep breath. Allie's getting the fire going right now. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that smell is one of my favorite smells on earth. Especially just, there's some kind of wood we have in the pile that is noticeably different than the others. Every time I smell it, it's just, it's like heaven. Sunset is beautiful. All right, so this is the porch now, and see what it looks like after we clean it all up. All right, so here's the porch now. Just cleaned all this up, all the little chunks, and. Now we have a place to sit and take our shoes off. That looks so nice. Right? <laughs> oh, shoot, I do have to run back up and go a couple things. I didn't want to leave from inside of here. Why? Because it was so nice. It's so cozy. I can't even believe how cozy it is. This feels like home. Dear life, right? Forty dollars. <laughs> 
It's just gonna be my writing notebook, and I'll oh, start writing so actual books. It. But it's like you get that tool that does that for you. Yeah. And then you're motivated. Yeah. Yeah. homemade sourdough pizza, hot sake on the wood stove, jazz in the background, and a night full of laughing and dreaming. And after Noah and Kaylee left, I stepped out onto the porch and saw the Big Dipper perfectly placed between the pines. And I thought of how grateful I was for this cabin and the journey it took to get to this very moment. Remember to hit the link in the description for 30% off your order at Thrive Market. Thrive Market.